So basically all we have left to do in today's video is we have the face head or the, the head to finish, the horns, the smoke, any kind of like uh, straps which would be the belt and the little shield parts here around his waist and then the pipes and the bandages that are going to be on his arms and that's pretty much it then that is bone ripper finished apart from the base but that's going to be its own separate video so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to start working on painting uh, the belt and the straps now there's two straps around the back here which you might be able to see Kind of hard to see now because they're not painted, but once they're painted, they'll stick out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over them with a base coat of Abaddon Black. And then I'm going to go over it with, uh, what was the paint I had? Uh, Asian Grey Highlight. So I'm going to start on that right now and I'll see you guys back in a second. Right, so we have the black on. It's kind of hard to find a point to really focus on for you guys, but right here you can see on the belt, just going straight across. Now the other parts I had done was... There's two straps back here. You can see him here kind of holding the skin in. And that was pretty much it. Well, apart from the face, I have kind of the cloth coming down off the face um, in black as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start highlighting this little part of the belt here to give you guys an idea of what I want to do. Uh, I said Eshin Grey in the last video, but when I was looking, I must have got my colours mixed up. I don't have Eshin Grey, so what I'm going to be using is Storm Vermin Fur. Um, I don't know how much of a difference it is, but it's either that or Slanesh Grey that I have. And Storm Vermin Fur is a little bit darker, so I'm just going to try and work with that. Hopefully, it will be alright. And all you want to do is just pretty much just highlight, highlight along the edges here. Make sure I get another bit on my brush. Just to give the, the belt a bit more colour. Let me see if I put a little bit more. Maybe you might be able to see it on that. You can just very lightly see the the grey highlights around the edges. So you wanna you're gonna wanna do that across the whole thing all around here as well. Um, and then I'll show you a better look on the kind of the face mask kind of claw part as well So I'll get that done and I will see you guys back in a second. All right, so with the gray highlights on the mask Finished what I'm going to do now Is I'm going to move on to the pipes in the back now as you can see I had I think treat the glue on I glued on this one uh, that one and no that was it I had three but for some reason I think this is I can't find where this one fits and the only pipe I have missing is the one for this arm so all the pipes come around and they connect to the weapons uh, on the arms so this is meant to be a small kind of curly pipe and I can't find a piece I thought it was going to be this one that's why I kind of started painting it getting it ready but unfortunately it's not so I've no piece connecting this pipe to this arm but that's not a problem that's fine that doesn't bother me too much because I have an idea I'm gonna paint all the pipes as usual and then once it comes to here I'm gonna paint around the bottom of this part here as if it's damaged so any kind of fluid coming out from here going into the gun is gonna start dripping down and leaking onto whatever terrain piece I'm gonna have here as well so it's gonna be a really cool effect it's gonna hopefully it'll fit well and hopefully it can kind of do the same to the part on the on the on the gun here as well maybe look at it as if some of the stuff is leaking from that as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start basting these pipes with uh, Mornfang brown all around um, and then I'm going to start then I'm going to put a wash on of Agrax Earthshed now that's pretty simple but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start washing some parts of it like two or three times to, make, to kind of break the pipe up a little bit so I'll start doing that and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Okay, so the pipes are all on. They're all painted, well, obviously, except for the missing one here. But it's really looking good. I like how it kind of the weapons are connected to the kind of the brass pack pack backpack as well. So they're looking pretty good. Stitches and all kind of come out pretty nice on it. And some of them are dark. Some parts of the pipes are darker than others. 
So what's left to do now is the bandages and the horns. Well, there's two, there's three things left. You have the bandages and, and the horns, which I'm going to count as one because they're basically going to be the same color. And then the metal part on here, on his belt, and then any of the little smaller pipes, like the one here on his head, the kind of smaller pipes here on the guns. Um, and then I'm going to finish them three pieces off now because what I'm going to do is the smaller pipes here on the guns and on his mask, they're going to be painted like kind of a, like a dark green, well, not dark green, kind of like a pale green. I want that to have the look of the warp stone going across. So when I'm doing that, I'm going to do the warp stone the same type of color on the back as well, if it'll focus there enough on it. You can see the kind of piece of warp stone powering it up. Um, and then for the horn and the, the, the toes, they're going to be done the same colors and then why I'm doing this as a separate piece is because I'm wanting this kind of shield part here to match with what else I have to go with this model, like other smaller guys to go around it. So I'm wanting this piece to be yellow. Um, and I want to try and work out a colour scheme for that. So I'll be writing it down and I'll be telling you guys what colours I use once I get this uh, painted on. But I'm wanting that to kind of fit the theme of what I have planned for after this. So stay with me and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so... Bone Ripper is finally done. I got a little bit of a head myself when I was painting. I didn't stop in between. I kind of just got all the pieces finished in one big long go. So I'm going to kind of talk through it a little bit now. So for the smoke here, I'll start off with. Um, I still wanted it to keep it kind of green and darkish and very dirty looking. So what I went over it was uh, Deck Guard Green, which is it's it's a really a unique color. It's really good. It's kind of like dim. Uh, transparent almost but it comes out really nice and then I went over it with a null and oil wash and then I wanted it a little bit darker but not too much so then I touched it up with uh, seraphim sepia um, just to kind of dim that green just a little bit more and I think it looks really nice uh, the pipes now the pipes were a little bit of trouble because I don't have a lot of greens to really I don't have a lot of bright greens so I went over them with Deck Guard Green and they weren't really looking the part. So I looked at my old paints and I had some old Goblin Green. So I probably, the equivalent of that would be, let me see what do I have written here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Warpstone Glow maybe, Mook Green. Um, yeah, so, but the, the Goblin Green kind of highlights uh, the, co uh, the cables a lot more and they really stick out as like a power source type of thing. So the kind of the belt buckle, which I'm gonna call it, uh, I went with yellow because the plan is I'm wanting to have tank wheels execution squad. So I want to have a five man, five or six man Skaven unit, uh, which would be called uh, tank wheels execution squad. And they'll all kind of have something matching on them to kind of tie them back to tank well, so I want to keep that yellow on him uh, which what color did I do the yellow again uh, it's the only two yellows I have so I based it with Averland Sunset and then I just put a couple of tin layers of Uriel yellow just to brighten it back up and it looks really nice uh, yellow is really hard to do but this little small piece wasn't too bad and I did it on the back as well but I didn't really I only left it with the Averland Sunset base color on it uh, because I wanted it to be a little bit more dim than the other than the front uh, The back of it the warp stone on the backpack Was there's nothing special with this. It was just uh, what was the green I used Caliban green and Then I highlighted the edges with the goblin green and then I just went over it with a brown wash the agrax or shadow wash And I just left it at that because I haven't really got the proper pants to kind of highlight it as best I want but someday maybe I'll come back to it. The bandages were finished, they came out okay. The horn, kind of like the middle part here, was simply just like a, what was the color I used? Rackard Flesh with, Rackard Flesh with an Agrax Urshed wash. And I did the same with the bandages and the nails down on the bottom. But then I just highlighted some of them with Pallid Witch Flesh as well. 
So all together he's looking pretty good. I'm happy he's finished because it only leaves me with two more things to do. It leaves me to guess, where is he? I have to get Tankwell painted, which will be one video. And then I'm gonna work on the scenic base as well, which I have some parts here already. So I'm kind of thinking of some ideas. This is from, it was called the Garden of Moor set, not too sure on the graveyard set what it's called now. But I'm gonna kind of break this up a little bit and kind of look like it's all broken up and you have Bone River tearing through it as well. But hopefully you guys like this video. I think he looks really nice. He's after coming together pretty well. And particularly the smoke. I was really nervous about the smoke, but he looks it looks pretty nice on camera when I'm looking at it. Um, the rock I left, I didn't paint the rock because I'm not sure it's gonna be part of the base or not. So if it is, I'll just paint over it and yeah, it won't be much of a problem. But hopefully you guys like this video. Bit of a different one, I kind of started it and then I got carried away with uh, painting and I never turned the camera back on. And remember I still have plans for this broken pipe on the back as well, so keep an eye out for that on on the on the basin video and we'll see how we get on from there. So anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video when I get around to painting Tankwell. So uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next video.